Da. Ayan, naluluha na ba kayo dyan? Also, let's congratulate Team More Than Blue dahil umabot na sa 4,600,516 views and counting ang trailer. It's very obvious that we're not the only ones excited for this upcoming film. Kaya naman, kilalani na natin ang cast, writer, and director ng Lewis Romantic Drama Film na More Than Blue. First, she is an award-winning writer who touched our hearts with a popular Viva Films movie, This Guy's In Love With You Mare, Of All The Things, A Secret Affair, Sons of Nana Isabel, and 2019's Metro Manila Film Festival blockbuster movie, Miracle in Cell No. 7. Now she's here with us as the writer of the newest romantic drama film, More Than Blue. Let's all welcome Miss Mel Mendoza Del Rosario. Hi, thank you for attending our mini press con. There you have it. Thank you, Miss Mel. Up next, she is a host, actress, model, and beauty pageant title holder who was crowned Miss Universe Philippines 2013. She is also known for her roles in the hit TV series, The Killer Bride, the blockbuster movie, Ganda Rapido, The Revenger Squad, and the newest Viva Max original movie, Sarap Mong Patayin, na mapapanood na ngayon sa Viva Max. Ngayon makikilala natin siya bilang si Cindy, ang confident and straightforward photographer. Let's all welcome Ariella Arida. Hello Ara. Please say hi to everybody. Ayan, magka brown out kila Miss Ara. Okay, moving on. Up next, he is an actor and one of the most sought after heartthrobs and leading man in the entertainment industry. He starred as Alonzo in the successful Viva Max originals, Death of a Girlfriend, Becky's on the Run, House Tour, and Gino in the hit TV series, Encounter. Today, we're going to meet him as John Luis, a kind and wealthy dentist. Let's all give him a big round of applause. Diego Lazaga. Hello, Diego. Uh... I can't start my video because the host has disabled it. But hello to everybody. Salat ng press, cast, and everyone behind this film. Okay. We're hoping that we can see you. Okay, your video a little Yo, bit later. Hi. There you go. Okay, again, please say hi to everybody, Diego. Hi. Hi again to everyone here today. And uh, thank you for taking the time out to uh, watch this hour and be here at our press conference. There you have it. Thank you so much. Up next. He is an award-winning actor who became popular for his romantic drama movies, Isang, Dula, Isang Daang Tula, Ayan, Isang Daang Tula para kay Stella, Mr. and Mrs. Cruz, The Day After Valentine's, Miracle in Cell Number no. 7, and on Vodka, Beers, and Regrets. At ngayong umaga, nandito siya para pakiligin at paiyakin tayo bilang si Kay, ang lalaking handang magsakripisyo para sa taong mahal niya. Let's all welcome... JC Santos. Hi everyone. Uh, thank you for your time today. Yeah. <laughs> Short but sweet. Okay, to complete the cast, she is a versatile and award-winning actress, model, TV personality, singer, and dancer. We've seen her from the popular films Diary ng Pangit, Talk Back and You're Dead, Girlfriend for Hire, Camp Sawi, Ang Pambansang Third Wheel, and para sa broken hearted. Ngayon makikilala natin siya bilang si Cream, ang babaeng lubos na magmahal. Let us all welcome Yasi Pressman. Hi everybody, magandang tanghali po. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much Yasi. And this time, ayan, nagkaroon na ng kuryente sila Ariella. Hello Ara, please hi. Hi to everyone. Hi, hello everyone. Sorry, actually, brown out for I'm just using my data. So, okay, there you have it. Thank you, Ara. Medyo mahina pa rin yung connection natin, but we hope na medyo lumakas na siya later pagdating natin sa QA. But good afternoon po to everyone, especially to our friends and family. Okay, yes. <laughs> kapit lang. <laughs> okay, kapit lang, Ara. There you have it. Thank you so much. And last but definitely not the least, 
He is the director of the well-acclaimed films, this time A Secret Affair and Miracle in Cell Number no. 7. Now, he's here with us as the director of the biggest romantic drama film of Viva Max, The More Than Blue. Let us all welcome Direct Nouvel Chris Sostova Navar. <laughs> Hello, Derek. We can hear you. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Ayan. Kompleto na natin ang cast, writer at director ng More Than Blue. But before anything else, we just want to say thank you again to all our friends from the TV, print, and online media for joining us here today. Maraming maraming salamat po for joining. And just a little reminder before we move on. Um, we'll be limiting to two questions per press, and that already includes your follow-up question for us to accommodate everyone. And while waiting for your turn to ask, kindly turn off your microphone and camera for a while. And also, we will be mentioning press names to be on standby mode, meaning by that time, you can now open your camera and microphone, but please make sure that your audio won't be a distraction to the ongoing press con. And lastly, if you are having any technical problem, please send Viva your questions and we'll be the one to ask it for you. Thank you for your cooperation. And now let's open the floor for your questions para sa ating cast, writer, and director. Our first batch will be... Please do stand by Jojo Panaligan of Writer.ph, Mario Dumawal, TV Patrol, James Miguel, Showbiz Canap, Redeline Antenor, Redski Red from Saudi Arabia, Julie Shosa, Throwback Weekend from Pinoy, Arabia, Kuwait. Okay, our first question will be coming from Jojo Panaligan of Rider.ph. Hi, Jean. Thanks. My first question uh, goes to the four actors. Um, how would you describe uh, the character you play at paano niyo siya inade? Uh, maybe we can start with uh, Yasin. Thanks. Hi. Um... Good afternoon, but thank you for asking and being here today. Um, I was very, very una -una po, syempre, honored and um, delighted to be part of More Than Blue, knowing the success po that it has garnered around Asia. And um, it gave, it put a lot of pressure on my shoulder. Po. And I feel like for our version po na Filipina adaptation po natin, marami po mga parts na um, caters to our culture that um, shows our audience who we are and that only became possible of course with the writing of Miss Mel and the direction of Direct Noel. Sila po talaga yung nag-guide sa amin and we all had our little versions of how we were going to bring the character in pero sila po talaga yung bumuo ng pagkatao ni Kay at ni Kay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, I think si Kay, uh, describe ko sa kanya, ang hirap eh. No? <laughs> um, posible na siya na yung pinakamatapang na character na nakilala ko, na encounter ko, uh, na portray ko uh, so far. At uh, uh, patapang galing sa pag-ibig yun. At uh, I think lahat ng tapang na yun ang galing sa pagmamahal niya kay Cream, which is played by Yassi. So, yun muna. <laughs> Jacob? Sorry, what was the question again? How did I... Uh, how, would you how would you describe your character? Saka paano mo siya inari? Alright, si John Luis. Uh, simple lang naman. Um, ano naman kasi yung character ko dito eh. He, he was very genuine. And uh, mahal niya lang talaga si Cream. He fell in love with his, her, her charisma not really knowing so much about yung history nila ni Kay. Um, I wanted to be the guy na Cream ends up with. That's pretty much yung, yung need ng character ko for, uh, in the story. That's all it was. I wanted to be her, her uh, partner in life. Yeah, gonna. Thank you. Hi, so... I am Cindy here, the happy-go-lucky, fun partner ni John, which happened to be the ex na in the ex part, the happy-go-lucky and fun 
resembles me. But like the passionate part when it comes to loving someone and to when it comes to work and profession. So I guess it helps more with the insight and input na binibigay ni Direk sa amin dahil nagkaroon ng deeper meaning yung character. Thank you. Uh, my last question goes to uh, Ms. Mel and our director. Hindi naman na bago ang drama sa Pilipino. In fact, very sentimental tayo ng uh, mga tao. Pero bakit uh, wasak puso itong story na to? Why do you think na it, 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 it's a cut above the rest na pinili niyo siya? Considering madami namang ibang drama. Maybe Ms. Mel, please. I think what really makes this wasak puso is um, you own, you walang talagang kontrabida, you feel for every character na ang gusto lang naman ay simpleng magmahanap yung taong mamahalin nila and the opportunity na mahalin yung ta- object of affection but there are different circumstances sa bawat character that prevents them for from accomplish accomplishing that ultimate happiness yung siguro mas nadudurog ka kasi you root really for everyone wala yung asana ah, dito walang wala kang hindi tatayaan yes uh, i think wasa puso siya kasi because yung universality of love and sacrifice very evident sa movie kasi parang dito the uh, one of the most an expression of love is sacrificing so parang lahat sila nag sacrifice from John Luis to to Cream to Kay uh, e- even yung character ni Ariella and of course yung mom yung mother ni ano no ni ni Kay ang laki ng sacrifices nila to show their love so i think uh, napaka for Filipinos napaka ano yun eh and lacking value non yung yung you're able to sacrifice because you love and you love genuinely very quickly lang po direct hindi niyo na isip isali sa MMFF direct sa mo parang pasagot well it's the, of course it's Viva's prerogative uh, but uh, we wanted to no kaya na, at the time kasi nung ginagawa namin yun hindi pa open ng cinema se eh. So, and nalagay na siya sa grid eh, ng Viva Max. So, uh, pwede ito eh. Pwede ito sa MMFF. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Pero syempre, si Boss, sa totoo lang si Boss Pick naman nasusunod. Yun lang naman yun. <laughs> <laughs> Meron siya nga. <laughs> Naghihintay lang kami. <laughs> Oo. Oh, hamak na manggagawa lang kami. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat po. Congrats in advance. Can't wait to watch it. Thanks, Jean. Thank you very Thank much. You, Jojo. Thank you, Thank you, Jojo Panaligan of Rider.ph. Up next, we have Sir Mario Dumawa of TV Patrol. Sir Mario, you're on mute. Hey, Sir Mario. Hey. Uh, for me, I'll end uh, and well. Okay. For me, I'll end uh, and well. You can hear me now. Yes, Sir Mario. Yes, Sir Susugan ko lang yung sinabi ni Jojo. No? I think uh, a big project like this deserves a <laughs> theatrical showing. You know? <laughs> uh, Noel? <laughs> Sige, no further comment. Sige. <laughs> yeah, I, we agree. <laughs> okay, we agree. Well, all of us agree. Ano lang, um, you have a very interesting cast, ano, Mel, uh, Noel. Uh, <laughs> kakaiba talaga ito. No? So... Paano nyo sila winasak at uh, binigyan ba nila ng hustisa ang kanilang mga roles? Um, Noel, how did you draw the, the, the dynamics of this, uh, of our artists? Uh, actually, uh, I, no, no, I'm, I'm very happy sa performances nila. Uh, silang lahat, especially si Yassi and JC. Ang sarap lang kasi because nung ano pa lang, uh, look test pa lang, Yes. Uh, so na explain ko sa kanila yung character, parang parang so kahit look test siya, gumawa kami ng mga eksena. So parang it's like parang ano na rin eh, script reading ang nangyari. And then pagdating sa set, uh, I'm so happy na alam na nila yung characters nila. 
kumbaga parang uh, pinag-aralan nila. They're so professional. Si JC, meron pa siyang kodigo. <laughs> Nadaladala niya pag may hihirap yung eksena. Tapos si Yasi, laging... Uh, eh, ano eh, alam mo yun, yung they're very willing to learn and to listen. Okay. Parang hindi sila, hindi sila madamot sa pati sa mga ka-eksena nila. Pag alam nilang, oh, eksena to ni Kay, sige bibigay si Cream. Yung gano'n, yung grabe yung support nila sa isa't isa. So, yun. <laughs> Can I ask uh, who, <laughs> well, medyo unfair yung question, ano, but who, who uh, kanino ka mas na-impress? Sa cast? Alam mo, pare, sa kanila, between, ano, JC and Yasi? Yes. Uh, pareho. Pareho. Kasi si JC, matagal ko nang naka-work eh. MMK, tapos uh, Miracle. So parang expected ko na na magaling siya. So alam ko na ibibigay niya. But then yung nga sinasabi ko, parang uh, sobra siyang... I think yung nervousness. Uh, nag- nag-chat-chat kami ni JC before the shoot. Sabi niya, direct na nervous ako. I-, I think magandang sign yon for an actor. Kasi di ba, hindi, ka, hindi siya... Isabihin, Uh, hindi siya naglalax sa kanyang craft. So, nakikita ko yung excitement niya. With Yasi naman, uh, I've never worked with her first time ko to. Sobra ako na-impress. Sabi ko, hindi rin pala nito Yasi press. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi lumapagod ko lang siya. And I think this is her most matured very performance. Very good. Matured siya, but very relaxed at uh, napaka-organic. Okay. Yun. Mel. So proud of them. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. I love thank you. you. <laughs> Mel. So, oh, paano mo sila na transform? Um, it really pays to have competent uh, actors, no? Okay. Uh, and one, kasi merong competent, pero tamad. Uh, <laughs> I'm really excited. Okay. And then, kasi alam mo ako, as a writer, ang una kong tinatanong sa direct, or as a producer, nabasa na ba nila script? Kasi meron talaga mga artista, they really go to the set, ang kapal ng muka, hindi nagbasa ng script, hindi nag-aral. Yung ganon. But ako, nakarating sa akin that si Diego was really excited sa role. Si JC, alam ko na naman yung capacity niya, hindi naman yan susu- lulusong ng hindi handa. And then si Yasi, actually, natouch ako kasi Nung first time na basa niya yung script, nagpadala siya ng picture, I don't know, kay Tita June, na umiyak siya when she read it. Naka, nasa bed siya umiyak. Huwa ganun siya. So, alam ko, ah, salamat sa Diyos. Binayayaan kami ng, ano, nagbabasa ng artista. Kasi yung iba parang no read, no write. Hindi ko maintindihan ba't di nila binabasa. And then, si Ariella naman, we're confident kasi bagay siya dun sa role. So, it also pays that you get the right mix eh, the right casting. Si Derek at saka si Boswick ang best in casting dyan. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Jean, may, may I just wind up the, uh, my, my QA with the... May I ask the reactions uh, from... Uh, okay, Sir Mario. From, uh, Go ahead. Of course, from the artists. From Yasi, from Diego, from uh, Daisy, from, from Mariela. <laughs> Ariela muna, ano, uh, anong sasabihin mo doon sa sinabi sa, sa inyo, Nina Direct? And, uh, Nina. Hi, hello Sir Mario. Yeah, of course, ako, uh, una pa lang, knowing that um, si Direct Noel po yung magdi-direct ng film. Um, tapos kasama ko, the actors, yeah, si Diego and JC. So, parang nakaka-pressure in a way because you know that ito yung mga... Um, you know that the industry sila yung you know how professional they are at mahuhusay at magagaling sa mga craft nila. So in return on my part na parang I really have to do my part also na ka, na masabayan mo yung craft na pinapakita nila. Right. And and true enough I'm so glad kasi si Direct Post has been really helpful pa kung paano ko pa mabibigyan ng um, buhay si Cindy dito yung character ko. So with his direction and of course the help po ng mga co-actors ko na tama si Direk. Sobrang mapagbigay. And thank you din po kayo Ms. Mel sa pagkakasulat niya kay Cindy na 
sabi ko nga in a way, parang nakikita ko yung sarili ko dito sa parting to. I just really have to dig deeper onto it. Kaya, yun, I'm very thankful and uh, ang dami ko pa rin pong natutunan after doing this film. Okay. Kego? Uh, yes po, well, Sir Mario. Um, okay, what can I say? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, tama po. When I read the script, I was, I was very... Um, I was excited about it. I didn't... Yeah, I, I cried a little bit. Okay, I mean, I cried a little bit. I didn't get it. Eh. I told Yassi this on my first day. So, because when I was reading the script, I didn't really get it until I got to the end and then everything parang just poured down. And I said, grabe tong pelikula nito. Oh, Ang bigat, sabi ko. Grabe to. But I was, you know, <laughs> thinking about my character and thinking about how I was supposed to do John Louise. Honestly, honestly, uh, it's Yassi and JC talaga dito na who will, you know, bring you to tears and, and make you feel what you're supposed to feel from this movie. And uh, like what Sila Drek was saying na, We had scenes na talagang, I, was, I would tell Yasi, no, I want you to look good in this scene. This is your scene. You know, okay. it's, it's AC and, and your movie. I want you guys to shine talaga dito. And whatever way I can to make it, you know, to be, be lang yung support, I'll do to make you guys, you know, to make it the movie, the overall project look good. So um, in regards to man and how I portrayed uh, John Lewis, yeah, and it, was, it was really just by the book. I, I'd always keep on asking the director, like, okay lang ba yung ginawa ko? Okay lang ba? Kasi sa tingin ko, I could have done it differently. And he'd tell me, okay, na, okay yun, Jex. Kailangan talaga ganun si John Lewis. So parang I'd, I'd always like go back and like, in real life, would Diego really do this? Parang hindi. Pero in the story, John Lewis is like this. So the deck would reassure me, that's okay. Okay yun, Diego. Okay yung ganyan. So, and I'm happy. I'm happy with the overall performance. I'm happy with yung nakita ko because I dubbed a little bit. Nampunod ka na naunti. So overall, it was... It was an incredible um, experience to work with Yasi, JC, with Direk. You know, first time working with these guys na ganito ka tinde yung, yeah. <laughs> yung project. So I was, yeah, I was very happy. Okay. Congratulations ngayon pala na, Diego. Okay. JC, yung may kodigo. As a leader, how are you? Uh, yung kaba na sinasabi ni Direk na sobrang nervous ako dahil It, it was three days or four days before we actually shot the film. Um, at na, ano ko, medyo honest ako na, medyo in-underestimate ko yung material. Tapos nung ibinabasa ko na siya, inaaral ko na siya every sequence, every line. Doon ko sinabi, ako oh, naku, in-underestimate ko yung material. <laughs> Umabot ako sa ba, tinext ko na si Direk. Sabi ko, naku, Direk, kaya ko ba to? Uma- Kasi ano na siya eh, na- naramdaman ko na yung weight ng bawat scene. Sabi ko, naku, eh, never ko pa tong nagawa na... na- itong halos every sequence na to, may, may binibigay siya na napakabigat, napakahirap. So, with a, with a, it was well written. Kaya nga parang, ang, ang galing na pagkasulat niya na, paano kaya to gagawin? Paano ko, siya mal, paano ko malalabas yung tamang emotion? So, kaya ako nagkaroon ng kodi ko. <laughs> The kodi ko is, uh, actually, gumawa ako ng ano, uh, a letter for my daughter. Uh, oh na every time binabasa ko siya kapag mabibigat yung eksena. It's a letter na parang it's, it's my last letter to my daughter. Wow. You know? So, every time na binabasa ko yun, doon ako bumibigay. At, at na, nararamdaman ko siya from the gut na parang, oh, okay, this is, I'm, 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 I'm keeping it real. So, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. Ma- mahirap kasi yung material, Sir Mario. Um, medyo, hanggang ngayon, parang iniisip ko nga kung medyo tama ba yung mga pinagagawa ko at uh, kailan ko lang, hindi eh, ko pa namakakod. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Eh, di ba? si Direct kasi sarap. Yeah. Ang sarap lang lahat na nangyari nung shooting at lahat na lahat gumaan na lang nung time na ginagawa na ng namin siya at naiintindihan ko na siya lalo yung character and even with Yasi na maraming binibigay sa akin every time. And sabi ko nga parang she's performing her soul in front of me every sequence. At wow. uh, sobrang sarap noon ng co-actor. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Yasi, daming revelation, ano? Uh, um, Siyempre, ikaw ang revelation din. Ang daming kwento, but you're the revelation, I think. Wow! <laughs> Thanks, Sir Maria. Um, how do I feel? Honestly, um, I am just overwhelmed because I feel the same way rin po na 
JC was feeling. Um, when I first read the script, and I did send that photo to Tita June as well, and I I was pressured more than anything, and then I was also scared, but more than anything, excited to be working with Direct Noel. And sa totoo lang po, Sir Mario, this project has been in line for two years, waiting for everybody's schedule to come through, to happen. Okay. And just hearing this makes my heart super happy. Kasi po, um, this is really the lightest, heaviest film I've ever done in my life. <laughs> lightest, kasi po, Kareem, K, all of these characters, they're beautiful souls. They're so willing to live with their free spirits. And tama po yung sinabi ni Ms. Mel, sometimes the situations that life put, puts us in forces us to do things that we don't want to do. But we do it for love. And dun po talaga pumapasok yung sacrifice. So going back to how I feel, I'm just overwhelmed. Like, wala po talaga ako masabi. Thank you. Thank you, Direk. Thank you. So thank you, everybody. I'm so excited. <laughs> thanks, everyone, for being generous. Thank you, Mario. Jean, thanks. Thank you, po. Thank, thank you, Thank you very much. Sir Mario Dumawal of TV Patrol.